Hey, I'm Jeremy Zuckerman, and this is my studio. Come on in and check it out. Let's see. We can start over here in this corner. This is my trusty Gujin. Uh, it's a Chinese zither. Fans of Avatar The Last Airbender might recognize it. You're really supposed to use these um, these nails to get the actual sound of it. But you know, gives you an idea. Then I like to hit this side for scary moments. This is my composition station right here. I spend most of the time facing this wall. Uh, I keep it pretty pretty bare bones, pretty stripped down, so there's not a lot of distractions. Um, just a good mic preamp, a couple mic pre's, good microphone, really good monitoring system. Um, just a simple 88 key keyboard right in front of me, and uh, you know, that's kind of about it. Pretty bare bones. Uh, over here is sort of my guitar corner. There's my trusty 68 335 burgundy mist metallic finish for you guitar geeks out there. It's a rare custom color and it sounds pretty sweet. And then some other things, an old Martin that my dad gave to me. Some strange Fender prototype. It's actually, I don't think Fender, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's a good, uh, and then uh, an old 61 Jazzmaster. This is for the guitar geeks, you might cut this down, but you know. Pretty sweet. I sort of like the, the dichotomy of the, the modern technology juxtaposed. With the old, uh, the old organ, and it sounds like this. Here's my pipa. This is uh, another Chinese instrument, it's Chinese lute, pretty much in tune. Uh, I use it a bunch on uh, the Last Airbender soundtrack. I think I first really got into music when I first heard um, Jimi Hendrix and Sabbath, Black Sabbath, right around the same time. Old school stuff, and uh, I just was like enamored by the the actual sound of the instrument. The, the sort of the timbre of it and it, it just sort of became an obsession of mine and uh, it, you know I, I got into heavy metal and I played in bands in high school and all that stuff and uh, that led me to Berklee College of Music and right around that time I, I was sort of getting a little bit out of metal and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do musically um, and I started to move away from guitar a bit and explore um, music synthesis and technology and those kinds of things and uh, and that sort of led me to to composition. Eventually, I made it to uh, to CalArts um, for my for my master's degree, and I st I started studying composition there. Um, but I, I kind of I kind of like a lot of composers first study traditional stuff and then get into computer music, and I kind of went the other direction where I, like I studied um, the, the more non traditional esoteric stuff first, and now I'm going more and more into traditional instrumentation, um, but uh, with, with this sort of um, strange, I'm sort of informed by the, the non-traditional and it, it makes it kind of it's kind of fun for me to figure out ways to try to kind of imitate these things that I do with computers but with non-traditional instruments.